So now what we need to do is that we need to work on the JavaScript side so that we get the text that the user is going to type here and uh, send it to the chatbot so that the conversation starts. So how can we do that? Well, the process is a little bit long and let me break the process down into small and few steps. So the first step is that we need to import the JavaScript in the in the HTML so that this page will will uh, uh, so that JavaScript will be able to to use this page to use the H, the HTML. So here, as you can see, if you open up your project, you'll find that in the public we have here JS, and inside that JS we have script.js, which is going to contain the code that's going to let let us interact with the chat with the chatbot so we need to import this script here in the index.ejs so at the bottom here what we need to do is that we need to make reference to that script so here i'm going to say script script and then the source is going to be equal to dot and then forward slash forward slash and then js and then forward slash and then script which is the name of the script script.js and that's it that's it. Now we made reference to this script, to this file here in the index. Now we can start using that index. Uh, we can start using the script.js here in the index. So, of course, of course, the code is, is not going to go here. The, co the code is going to go in the script.js. So now in the script.js, what we need to do, the next step is that we need to make reference to this button because this button this button is going to be used to send the message to the chatbot. So let, how can we make reference? To make reference to it, first we need to know where is it. Where is this button? So this button is here. And this button has an ID of send button, send btn. And we need to use this to make reference to it. We need to use this to use it. This is why it's important. This is why I told you it's important to give it an ID. So in the in the script in the script.js, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make reference to it here. I'm gonna say var send btn, and then it's gonna be equal to document dot get element by ID, and then the ID is send btn. The ID is send btn. Send btn, and here send B btn so now we have we made reference to it now in order to to use it we need to to uh, to add event listener to it meaning that whenever the user clicks on it we need something to happen so here i'm going to say send button and then i'm going to call a function called add event listener and this function takes two parameters the first parameter is the type of event that you want the code to listen to. So we want to listen to the clicks. Whenever the user clicks on on uh, on this button, we want something to happen. The second parameter is what we want to happen upon clicking on the button. So the second parameter is going to be a function. And here E is for event. And then inside that function, we can do whatever we want when the user clicks once the user clicks on the button. So for now, I'm going to say alert just to just for the sake of testing. I'm going to say alert. And then I'm going to say button clicked. Button clicked. Let me now save and let's head on over to the browser to test. So now in the browser, if I refresh and if I click on send, guess what? Here we have this uh, popped up window that says button clicked. And whenever I click on the button, this message will be displayed will be this window will, will pop up meaning that indicating that this this button works uh, whenever we click on it